This presentation gives a technical overview of the TextWeb platform. Let's see at a high level how the TextWeb platform works. The end user sends an SMS through their phone carrier to the TextWeb platform using a well-known TextWeb phone number. When the request reaches the TextWeb platform, it is translated to HTTP and then sent over the internet to a developer application. The developer's application takes the request, does the necessary processing, and sends the reply back to the text web platform, which is then sent via SMS back to the user's handset. As you can see in this high-level flow, the developer's application does not need to understand or communicate via SMS to the end user and the text web platform does the receiving of the incoming SMS and translation over to HTTP as well as taking the HTTP response back and translating that to the SMS protocol and then sending that back to the user's handset. Let's dig in a little bit deeper into this picture and see what is actually happening behind the scenes and under the covers by taking an example. Let's take an example of a text web application which is a word lookup application. Essentially given a word that is sent over SMS it can give you back the meaning of the word. So step one is the user <coughs> sending an SMS to the text web platform by saying at word intuition. Now, in this case, there are a couple of things to note. 92433420 is the number for the text web platform. So this is a well-known number that the user would save in their contact book, and this is the number that they would send to any to access any application on the text web platform. They send the keyword at word to indicate that Word is the application that they're trying to access. And the word that they need to look up the meaning for is intuition. So this gets request gets sent. And along with that, the user's mobile number is also sent. The requ request reaches the phone carrier and then is forwarded to the text web platform. At this point, the text web platform gets the request. It takes the keyword which in this case is Word and looks up in its database the application URL to which at Word maps to. So in our example, Word is an application that's been written by let's say a third party which is running on a server over the internet and registered with the text web platform. The text web platform will do a lookup, figure out what the URL is, and simply in do an HTTP request invocation of the application and send that over to the developer's app. That's step number three. So as you can note in step number three, we've done a URL lookup in the text web platform and sent the request over by invoking the URL and sending the URL parameters, message, and mobile number. Step number four, when the application gets the request, it needs to get the actual word that the lookup is desired for, in this case, the word being intuition. It looks that up and it goes to its database, looks up the meaning, and figures out what the corresponding meaning is. In this example, the meaning is looked up locally in an RDBMS, but the meaning could also be looked up by invoking a third-party web service or screen scraping a website which has meanings listed in it. The request is then processed 
by the application and as a response step number five and six is to send the response back to the user's handset in step number five the developer's application has simply written an HTML response back and which includes and it includes the meaning of the word intuition which is then taken by the text web platform translated to SMS and is then received by the user's handset. The important thing to note here is from an app developer's perspective all they've done is received an HTTP request which had two URL parameters the user's phone number and the message or the word that they wanted to look up the meaning for and as a response what the developer did was simply output an HTML document which contained the word. The HTML document was then taken and sent back to the user as an SMS. So as you can see if you are an app developer it is extremely straightforward to build an application that integrates with the text web platform. There are no APIs, there are no jar files, there are no REST APIs or anything to invoke to integrate with the text web platform. If you can build an application that can receive HTTP requests and respond by HTML, integrating with the text web platform is a breeze. So to summarize, the platform, because it's way of integration is to forward HTTP requests and receive HTTP responses back in the form of HTML is a platform which is programming language agnostic. So the app developer as long as they adhere to the HTTP protocol can choose whatever language or whatever framework they choose to build their application in including but not limited to Java, PHP, Perl, Python. The platform does a lot of the hard work for the developer by providing SMS to HTTP transformation so that the developer can focus on their application logic and not have to worry about building anything beyond a simple HTTP application. As pointed out earlier, there is no coding work to integrate with the HTTP um, with, these, with the text web platform because the mechanism to integrate is really HTTP. The best part about the platform is that it enables very rapid development. You build the application, register it in TextWeb, the TextWeb site, and test it. And once you're ready, you publish that by letting your audience know that it's good to go. There is also an emulator which helps you do easy and instant testing without having to actually use an actual phone handset uh, for sending and receiving the SMS is. And in terms of user adoption, um, there is no application or anything that the end user needs to download. All you need to do to publish your application and have your ad audience start accessing immediately is for them to send an SMS to the text web platform using the well-known text web number and by specifying your app name as a keyword with the at sign. As you have seen Building applications for the text web platform are simple, straightforward, and easy and quick to deploy. We have a number of resources that will help you build and deploy an app quickly, including tutorials that have um, documentation as well as videos and sample code, lots of FAQs, and we also have a discussion and support community at textweb.com where you can go and interact with other developers. We would love to have your feedback on the platform and would love to see 
applications built on the platform and get your feedback. Thank you.